takes a lot of time and effort to transform Rec Park into a tennis facility fit for thousands of spectators. But to organizers, it's worth the time and effort. You can go up and talk to the professionals and find out things about their lives and uh, it's just get autographs. It's great. It's just a great uh, opportunity to see professional tennis up close and personal. One of those professional players is 27-year-old Dmitry Tursunov. The Russian native was once ranked 20th in the world. He's best known for his intensity on the courts. It's a yellow light at the umpires and break rackets here and there, but uh, you know, I try to cool down a little bit, partially because I'm getting mature. 26-year-old Rajiv Ram turned pro after playing just one year at the University of Illinois. This is his third appearance at the LGNT tournament, and he says tennis is unlike any other sport. The biggest thing is that it's individual. You know, uh, we play. We don't play on a team. We don't play. You know, home games, away games. It's all basically for yourself, and you're traveling to different cities playing tournaments. The players warm up for their matches on these practice courts, making sure they're in top physical shape. But it's just as important for them to prepare mentally as well as physically. Mentally, it's, it's kind of a tough sport because he can be playing great, he can feel great physically, but he can come out and lose in the first round. Tursunov says the life of a tennis player isn't always easy. He travels two to three months at a time, never staying in one place too long. So there's quite a bit of pressure on you, you know, to perform and, um, and, and to do well. And, and if you're not doing well, your confidence goes down and, you know, you feel like you're not worthy of anything. Despite tough days on the court, fans still appreciate the tennis player's hard work and dedication. I still love the game as much as I did the day I started it. I'm glad that I got involved in it. So it's great to see this, this level of play out here. It's, it's pretty impressive stuff. Impressive enough that some of these players will go on to compete at the U.S. Open later this month. In Binghamton, Melinda Zosh, News Channel 34.